This is the scapula, commonly called the shoulder blade. We want to get some anatomical landmarks here so we know whether we have a right or left scapula. Now, first of all, we'll need to determine whether this is the front or the back. And we look at this ridge of bone. This is called the spine of the scapula. So if you think about your own spine, and you know that's in the back, posterior of your body, well, the spine of the scapula is also on the posterior aspect of the scapula. There are a couple of fossas associated with this. Above, we have the supraspinous fossa, and below, we have the infraspinous fossa. So both of these fossas, points for muscular attachment, are named after the spine of the scapula and give a reference point. Now, is this a right or left scapula? Now that we know we're looking at the back, well, there is a fossa on this side. This is called the glenoid fossa. And the glenoid fossa joins with the humerus, in other words, the arm, and that's going to form the ball and socket joint of your shoulder. So we know this is the back, and we know that the shoulder or arm is going to be coming out here. So therefore, we can tell that this is the lateral and medial side. The spine would be here. We're looking at a right scapula. We have the medial border of the scapula, and we also have a lateral border of the scapula. Again, we looked at the glenoid fossa. This ball and socket joint is going to be here for the shoulder. At the end of the spine of the scapula is the acromion process. Now, we can know that the acromion, A is the first letter in the alphabet, this is the coracoid process, A before C, so A is above C. This is where the clavicle is going to join to form a joint in our shoulder. Again, we have the coracoid process. There are coronoid processes in your body, but the coracoid has a C, just like scapula has a C. So we know this is coracoid and not coronoid. And then finally, we know we had the supra and infraspinous fossas um, near the spine of the scapula below the scapula on the inferior side we have the subscapular fossa so sub like submarine means underwater we have the fossa under the shoulder blade underneath the scapula and that is our third one don't confuse subscapular with infraspinous. We know that infraspinous relates to the scapula spine and not to the underside of the scapula.